to another vlog. Um, it is Friday. It is a gloomy Friday here in Nashville. I had a little morning, did a little bit of stretching. I did a p-ball class last night and I am so sore because I haven't been to the gym in like forever. Um, but I went to a coffee shop. I didn't film in there. I think the last thing you guys saw was me like doing a little bit of a workout this morning at the house. But then the house cleaners came so I had to get out of the house and then I came home and I got a spray tan which is why I look tanner than normal. I'm really happy with how it looks and then leave it to me to put on. <laughs> An all white outfit but i wanted to share some gift options for people on your list this year um and thank lululemon for sponsoring today's video because i got so many good new pieces i got a really good outfit for dylan that i'm excited to share i feel like the most requested gift list is like gifts for guys gifts for boyfriends dads things like that so i got the best where even did i put that outfit um the best like outfit that i know dylan actually has the joggers already in two colors and i picked up a new color in this like crew neck but i also picked up some stuff for myself that i thought would be great to show you guys for gift options for people on your list or just like to have um i also wanted to share some of my favorite lululemon like basics that have been in my closet that will never leave my closet that have been in it for like years. I have been wearing Lululemon for literally years and the fact that I get to work with them over and over again is like a dream come true. So I have some like basic pieces. I'm gonna link below. Absolutely love this sports bra. My like favorite style, I have it in a few colors. It's just like a go-to for me. Let me grab the other items. I don't know if it's just on camera, but I feel like my tan keeps getting darker and darker, but I just grabbed this vest downstairs that I had on this morning because I wanted to show you guys everything together. But basically, I'm going to link a like his and her gift guide down below. So gift options for the guys in your life and then gift options for the gals and just some of my favorite like go-to classic pieces. But I also swear by the leggings, the Wonder Train leggings. I had a pair on this morning and I actually just picked up a new pair I wear a six the wonder train high rise tight in 28 inseam i'm 5'9 so i like the 28 but i know that they offer different inseams if you're on the shorter side these are the best leggings i need to be on everyone's list i feel like i need to probably get my mom and sisters like a new pair for the holidays i know that they would love that and i feel like who doesn't love a nice quality pair of black leggings another one of my like must-haves i feel like from lululemon i actually have this in black and when i saw it in the white i just had to have it you guys saw it on me this morning i wore it to the coffee shop and to do my little workout but i am obsessed with this i'll put the exact name of it on the screen because i obviously ripped the tag out and i don't want to tell you guys different but i love how the hood is detachable it's really actually like compact and easy to travel with it smushes down really nicely and it's just like so cozy and soft and actually keeps you really warm i love a vest for winter. I feel like I'm such a vest girl over a jacket when you're like going to and from a workout because it keeps you warm but not too hot. Um, and I actually picked this up in a size eight. I have the black one in a six and I got this one in an eight and I actually really like how it fits a little bit looser and gives me a little bit more space underneath. This would be such a good gift for literally anyone. Um, I'm obsessed with this. Underneath I had on this top. I picked this up in a size medium. I love the color. Obviously I'm a fan of neutrals around here. And this is the softest shirt I've ever felt in my entire life. You guys saw it on me this morning, but it is buttery soft. I actually have it in a turtleneck version in um, like a brown color. I can link that one for you guys. But I just love this so much and I think it's really, really cute underneath the white vest for like a little outfit. Let me move this camera so I can share with you guys. I did want to share what I'm currently wearing. This is my first time having this style. I feel like this is a very popular hoodie from Lululemon, the scuba oversized cropped hoodie. I'm obsessed with the bone color. And then I picked up these pants, which, oh my God, you guys, these pants are so good. Like I said, I love a monochromatic outfit. These tighten like this, you can see here. I like mine looser. I actually got these in a size eight. So size up if you want them on the looser side, but I just love like the way that this hits right here. And then the flare of these, they're a really nice ribbed pant and they actually are long enough for me which is really nice let me scoot back and try to show you guys okay i could even wear my platform shoes with these like my little boots or i could do like slides and stuff in and out of the gym these are just so cozy and the material feels like insane these feel like a dream and i could see them becoming one of my like favorite lululemon items this construction next door you guys <laughs> It's gonna be the death of me. Like, are they ever gonna finish the house? I wanted to show you what I picked up. Dylan, I got him a little outfit and I wanna show y'all so that I can get it wrapped and put it under the tree. He wears his true size. So he's normally a double X 
and I get them in XXL and everything. And I really like for the guys, they offer longer inseam, like an extra tall length. Dylan's 6'5", so he always needs like that little bit of extra length on joggers, pants, things like that. And they offer that, which is so nice. His <laughs> joggers aren't like above his socks. But the first thing that I picked up, clearly loving this color. I just feel like it goes with everything and it's a pretty like neutral for the winter. But then you can also wear it like year round. Um, this is the Soft Stream Oversized Fit Half Zip, and it says, turn the softness dial all the way up in this half zip made with our guest favorite Soft Stream fabric. Just a classic zip up. I feel like this is a great thing to add to the list or to gift this to someone. I'm like, who would not love just like classic quarter zip? Um, you can layer this, put this under a vest, put it over a sweater or like literally anything. It's kind of like the guy version of what I'm wearing. And then I picked up his favorite jogger, literally ever. I feel like these are a fan favorite of most guys who like and wear Lululemon. If you're trying to find your guy or boyfriend or dad or father-in-law a good like jogger, the ABC jogger from Lululemon is out of this world, I swear. They're like, every time Dylan wears his, I'm like, wait, I love those. Um, and you know when you're like the girl and you love what your guys are wearing, that's how I feel about Dylan and these joggers. Um, and I get the tall version. So I get the double X and I get the tall and I got these in the army green color. He doesn't have these yet, but they're a warp stream fabric. So it's four way stretch, quick drying and wrinkle resistant. So it's good for like guys because they're just kind of like all over the place, you know? Um, but I love this color and I love it paired with the, um, quarter zip and they just fit so nicely. He has them in gray and black already and he wears them literally all the time. So just a few things that I had picked up and ordered from Lululemon. I'm gonna link everything below for you guys, but they have amazing gift options on there. They have like literally something for everyone on your list. So definitely check them out. Thank you Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. I will link, like I said, a his and her little gift guide down below and some of my like must have Lululemon items if you're wanting to like start your collection or start building some like core really good pieces in your closet from Lululemon. So check them out. I'll have everything linked below. I'm gonna head downstairs, finish up some work. I need to go get my nails done because I have a fun little shoot that we're doing this weekend, um, which is why I got a spray tan. I got a spray tan. A girl came to the house actually. I can put her Instagram here and it was like so quick, so easy. And I feel like it's developing really nicely. So I'm excited about that. I just knew you were gonna follow me. <laughs> I just knew you were gonna come up here with me. I have out this rack of like coats and new items, but I'm so excited because I have a second collection that I'm doing with Lovers and Friends, X Rachel on Revolve, which is dropping soon. So I'm excited to share um, and we're shooting it tomorrow. So I have everything hung up right here and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna style the pieces I have like a bunch of coats that I've been getting in the mail over the past few, like honestly months, some different items here, but this is mostly the collection. I'm so excited about this. And we're gonna pack all this up. We're gonna go to the one hotel tomorrow morning. We're gonna go have brunch, go to the hotel and Dylan's gonna help me shoot. I have some like shoes and boots and things like that under here. I just need to pack everything. I ran quick before we had dinner got my nails done with this like little gray color. It's um, the OPI, the color is called cannoli. And I feel like I get this a lot, I really like it. And I figured I would have these for Thanksgiving. So a little neutral color. My hair is going crazy because it's so humid and rainy out. But I need to shower off this spray tan that I'm still like marinating in. I need to pack a bag for the hotel and for like all the looks that I'm shooting and rinse off the spray tan and get my stuff together. So in the morning, all I have to do is get up, get ready, and then we can head out. We're going to brunch tomorrow at this new place we've never tried. They are having us out and I'm excited to try it. It's called Ophelia's, I believe, I'm like pretty sure. We're going to that at 11, Dylan and I. He doesn't have a game this weekend, it's their bye weekend, which is always exciting. So we're gonna go have ourselves a little staycation in Nashville and stay at the one. I've never been to the one in Nashville. I think it's fairly new. I think it's like maybe a year or two old and I absolutely love that hotel like chain. So I'm excited to see the Nashville one. Okay, I gotta shut this. It's a great day for football. Right? What other good games are on? What about your bag? Yeah, everything's right. Oh man, this is heavy.
For you, one day. You think I'm going for a week? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I bring those outfits? And shoes. How good do you get sports shoes? Oh my god. They've tried this. I thought there was going to be pulp, but there isn't. We have to go. I'm convinced that I'm convinced that, that stuff. That, that, I think they do it on purpose. But they do what? They spell and they say names wrong on purpose. <laughs> so you keep coming back and you wonder, well, how are they going to say it this time? No, not I'm, I'm telling you. I don't. I don't think. Oh, I want to know how they're going to say my name this time. If, if I said. Much later in the day, we are checked into our hotel room. It's literally so nice. Dylan and I are just sitting <laughs> on the couch. We just shot some photos, which you guys will see in like a week or so. When we checked in, I thought that I was recording and I did a full little room tour when the sun was still up. And then I looked back and realized that I wasn't even recording. So we are staying in this like really beautiful room. I have never been to the one hotel in Nashville. I actually have only been to the one in New York and Miami and LA actually. So I've been to three different ones and this one's really, really nice. The lobby is smaller here and I don't think that this one has a pool, but it's really, really nice. There's a restaurant, a little coffee bar area. So we're just staying for a night. We're doing a little staycation, just change of scenery to get out of the house. Dylan had to buy weekend this weekend. So we're <laughs> happy that he's here. And we're just watching Georgia beat the brakes off of Tennessee, which is exciting. And we're about to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Um, this morning we went to brunch at Ophelia's. It was so yummy. And then we have just been like watching the game and walking around waiting to check into our room. And then we were shooting some content. So I'm just in a little robe, um, getting cozy. It's five o'clock and it's already like super dark out, which is frustrating, but it's okay. We are in for the night and I think we're either going to do like room service or maybe like Uber eat something to the hotel because we just want to like sit and watch some TV and football. So I just wanted to update. I'll give you guys a little room tour in the morning. Um, we're doing a late checkout because we're going to shoot some more looks in the morning with some daylight. And then that's kind of that. We have a dog sitter watching Winnie and Rue, which actually I think that you can bring dogs here. Really? We should have checked because they would have literally loved it. Wouldn't they? Uh, mm -hmm. That would have been fun. Nice. We just ordered room service from their hotel. Oh my God, this is the cake she told us to get. Oh, it looks wow. so fire. The lady on the phone taking your order was like, do you guys ever have a sweet tooth? Cause I really recommend this cake. Okay, next up we've got my Caesar salad with chicken. That looks so yummy. Got potatoes, yum. I just did one order. I figured we didn't need, that's a lot of food. And then Dylan decided to go big. Look at the onions. I want a bite of that. Can we share? <laughs> oh, baby. Good morning, you guys. I am up and at it, getting ready for the day. Dylan just ran to the lobby to grab us some coffees and juice. It's around eight o'clock. Just getting ready and have to just take a few more photos and then we're checking out. I got a late checkout so we don't have to be out of here until one. It's currently 8.15. I um, actually didn't sleep as good as I thought I would. I had the weirdest dreams, literally. I had a dream that my mom, my mom's a flight attendant so this isn't like far off, but I had a dream that she was like working and then all of us, like me, Aaron, my siblings, I don't know if Dylan was in the dream, I can't really remember, but we all like showed up to her work and we like took the private plane that she was flying because she flies like private clients and we like made her and the pilot take us somewhere and then she like got in trouble for it. The strangest dream ever, <laughs> I woke up thinking like what the heck is going on? And then I had a dream that Aaron was like faking a heart attack. It was the strangest thing ever, like on the plane it was 
crazy. So I didn't sleep very well, but Dylan said I didn't sleep very well either. I don't know why, because the bed is so comfy here. So I'm like confused. But anyways, just doing some light makeup. My spray tan is like still kicking it on my body. I feel like my body still looks pretty tan, but my face, I've like obviously washed my face and used toner on my face and stuff. So I feel like all the spray tan is off, but I really liked how it turned out. I felt like it was very natural. So if you guys are in Nashville, check her out because um, she did a really good job. I blew out my hair the other night and I blew it out straight and then I just never curled it and I kind of like I kind of like it straight ever since I got it done like I got it cut a little bit shorter so I feel like it blends like the extension blends in really nicely with my natural hair so I'm kind of liking the straight hair right now we were watching football last night obviously and I don't know why this is like bothering me so bad because like I feel like football has been around in my life for a while but last night I'm not even a Florida State fan either so I don't know why this is like on my mind but I saw the Florida State quarterback like go down I'm pretty sure it was his ankle or something and it just made me sad and I'm like thinking about him again today and I'm like it's just so sad like the training and the hours and the time that goes into like any sport really and then you get like one injury and it's like season ending or career ending and it's just like so sad and it Reminds me of the days when Dylan used to get injured. Dylan had like really bad knees, so I feel like he was always getting hurt. And I remember one season he went down, I was literally at the hair salon getting my hair done. And he, I was like watching the game and my mom texted me and was like, is that Dylan down? And I look up at the screen and I'm like, okay, wait, why does that jersey say 42? And it was the one game that like none of us went to, like none of his parents went to, I didn't go to. And yeah, he had to be carted off and like literally have surgery immediately the next day and he was out. I believe the rest of the season i get some of his injuries mixed up because like i said he's been injured more than once but it's just so sad because they train and train and train and then that happens and it's just like and i get it's in any sport but i guess i'm just referring to football because that is what we saw yesterday i can't double task so i'm gonna finish getting my makeup done and then i will check back in what kind of coffee did you get just a regular black coffee thank you orange juice coffee Yum. All right, we are all packed up. I wanted to show you guys my outfit quick before we head out. We're gonna go grab brunch. We just had that little bagel to hold us over. Just shot some photos and we're out of here. I'm wearing cute little black. I got these black like long trouser shorts forever ago and I finally figured out a way to style them. A little trench coat, some boots, and then all black underneath. We're gonna go grab some, I'm like in the mood for like breakfast tacos some like type of brunch situation. So we're gonna go check out. I loved this hotel, I highly recommend staying if you guys are in Nashville. The bathroom is giving like total Colorado vibes to me, which I love. It feels like that hotel that we stayed at when me, Dylan, and Emily went to Vail. And even though we didn't really have that great of a night of sleep, the bed was like super comfy and stuff. So check out this hotel if you guys are heading to Nashville. And we're out of here. We don't have that many bags, we can just carry it all. <laughs> I missed you! I missed you guys so much! Back home, we came home and before we left it wasn't super chilly outside. Hi BB. I know, okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> this dog, I swear, is like acting like we were just gone for a week and a half. We were gone for not even 24 hours. We just came home to the house being 58 degrees, you guys. So I'm currently sitting with my puffer on in front of the fire. Dylan went to go get some gas to mow the yard. And I'm about to head to a coffee shop and get some work done. And then Dylan's gonna work from the house. We're funny because we're so used to not like being home together when we get work done. And so I feel like I can never get stuff done with him around the house because I'm normally here by myself. And I feel like I just am more productive at like a coffee shop or something because I go there and I wanna get everything done. So um, even though it's Sunday, I'm kind of like been shooting photos all weekend. I'm kind of like in work mode. So I wanna get all those photos edited, sent in, and then I wanna actually edit the vlog that I'm currently filming. So we're gonna go do that. I'm waiting on Dylan to get back so I don't have to put the dogs back up in the crate because they were obviously just in the crate for a little bit. And they're so happy that we're home. We missed you so much. 
We miss you guys so much. <laughs> but you had fun with Ryan, right? She loves to come watch you. She loves to watch you, Rue. She loves it. <laughs>